Hello everyone. Today's 5G systems and circuits use digitally modulated signals and the error vector magnitude EVM is one critical spec that must be met. But designers always wish they could simulate and validate EVM quicker, especially during the repeated simulation during the design phase. Well, I do have good news for you. You no longer have to wait hours or days to simulate or verify your designs for EVM specs. Now, with the use of compact test signals and fast envelope simulation, along with the distortion EVM calculations, you can do all this quickly and accurately as many times as you wish and display the results in few seconds or few minutes depending on the complexity of the design or system you're simulating. All you have to do is check a box or two in the envelope controller setup window and simulate, and in few seconds you will get your results. Now, why is this important and valuable? This is because during the design phase, designers often go through many tweaks and trade-offs to meet all specs. So these quick methods simulate quickly in few seconds and allow designers to finish their designs much faster. Let me illustrate. Here, for example, let me quickly simulate my design with a modulated source. As you see here, I got my results in 30 seconds and EVM is 4.68%. Now, Let's say during the design phase, I want to find out what happened to EVM when the battery charge is low and the drain voltage drops down 10 or 15%. So here I can quickly change my drain voltage from 10 volts to 8.5 volts, a drop of 15%, and in 30 seconds I can see the degradation in EVM. So here you can see EVM went up from 4.68 to 6.73% with the 15% drop in the drain voltage. And you can do these quick simulations as many times as you want while tweaking your design or changing other parameters, such as the temperature of the devices or the input power to the device or many other parameters. So now let me explain to you in more detail these different methods to design and simulate with modulated signals. And I will then compare and display to you their results accuracy and simulation speed. So these four methods are, number one, using standard full circuit envelope simulation method. Here, if you do not check any boxes, then the standard full envelope simulation takes place and runs the simulation. The time stop and time step are specified for the envelope controller and the modulated signal is inserted in the P1 tone source as shown here. Number two, the second method is using fast envelope simulation. All you have to do here is to check the box and specify which model you want to generate. For example, level one is for memory-less circuits. Level three includes small signal memory effects, and level five model includes large signal uh, memory effects and long-term memory. So again, all you have to do here is just check the box and run the simulation. Easy and straightforward. Now, the third method is to use the new compact test signals method. Here, you check the box and you specify the length of the compact test signal you want to use. So, for example, if my waveform has a length of 3.3 millisecond with 50,000 point steps, you can ask ADS to choose a smaller compact test signal to use in the simulation. And ADS behind the scenes scans the full waveform and pulls out a slice from, from that full waveform that is statistically identical to the full waveform and has a small CCDF delta error. 
Thus, it, it closely represents the full waveform and it is as accurate as possible to your original waveform. So all you have to do here is just check the box and specify the length of the compact test signal you want to use. That is all to it. And now the fourth choice you have is to choose a compact waveform and at the same time create a model for it by using fast envelope simulation. That would result in further speed up in the simulation. So having said all this, I have applied these four methods on a three-stage millimeter wave mimic power amplifier, and I have used a 3.3 millisecond 5G modulated source at its input with 50,000 simulation points. Okay, here's a summary of the results. You can see the full envelope simulation time is 1,371 seconds, or about 23 minutes. The compact test signal with a length of 1 millisecond took 386 seconds. That is three and a half times faster. The fast envelope method took 93 seconds, which is 15, 15 times faster. And the last one, the combination method using compact test signal and fast envelope took 31 seconds, which is 44 times faster. Next, I have used the fast envelope method to produce this swept analysis of EVM versus input and output power. Notice I used 13 swept input power points and I was able to produce these EVM versus input and output power plots in 20 minutes. Next, I wanted to apply the four methods on a whole 5G transmit chain, which consists of small signal amplifiers, a four bit phase shifter, and the power amplifier interfacing this patch antenna. And here are the results. The full envelope 50,000 point simulation took 8.7 hours and the other methods simulated much faster and down to 0.3 hour, that's 20 minutes, using the compact test signal and fast envelope. Now, before I finish, I just want to talk a bit about compact test signals and distortion EVM. See, the concept of using compact test signals is to use a small time slice of the whole modulated waveform, which represents the similar frequency signature and the statistical distribution in terms of CCDF. And the objective is to minimize the length of the slice so we can get quicker simulation time, but at the same time reducing the delta CCDF error between the original waveform and the test signal waveform. And that's because we want more accuracy. Next, the distortion EVM I have used in data display to plot the spectrum with its distortion EVM is basically extracted from the PNAX test equipment and brought inside ADS without having to use a system simulator. So the underlying distortion EVM technology separates the output spectrum into its linear part and its distortion part. Then EVM can be computed and displayed in ADS data display. Now, built-in equations are already implemented and inserted in ADS functions and equations. And here is a view of the equations I used. So to summarize, I have demonstrated to you both fast envelope simulation method and compact test signals method in circuit envelope that help you speed up your simulation with modulated signals by a large factor. It helps you complete your design much faster during the design phase. I also showed you the distortion EVM equations in ADS data display to allow you to plot and display the spectrums and EVM. I hope this video has provided useful information to you to complete your designs quickly and proficiently. 
Thank you for watching.